G Squad, what's happening with y'all, man? Tall Guy Car Views back with another video, man. What we talking about today? What we in? Well, you see the thumbnail, you see the title to the thumbnail. The Jeep Trackhawk is being so bad, as you can see, we are in the hell, Keezy, baby. But the Trackhawk is being sold, man. I know there's a lot of people be like, whoa, what? Why are you selling it so fast? Why are you doing it? Oh my God, I can't believe you're doing it all. Why? Well, I'm selling the Trackhawk. It's simple, man. And just to be real with y'all, man, it's because I bought the Trackhawk. It's not my dream car. I am in my dream car currently. And my other dream car, I have yet to obtain. Y'all know what that is, the Lamborghini Aventador. But that's going to be coming to the channel real soon. So everybody stay tuned, man. But the Trackhawk was just something to get to drive traffic and more people to subscribe to my channel, man. I'm a YouTuber, man. This shit is a business, man. You see the merch, man? TallGuyCarViews.com, man. This shit is a business, man. I get W-2s, 1099s, and all that stuff I I got an account, I got financial advice. Hey, listen, man, this is real, man. This is a business, man. So I got the track hog to bring more people in to get more flow to the traffic. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, the track hog is a super legendary SUV, man. And I love the way it drives. I've had a great time with it and all that good shit, man. But I made every video imaginable that you could make for the most part, other than doing mods and racing the Trackhawk versus my Hellcat. Um, every Other than that, I've done every video you can possibly think of with that Trackhawk. Y'all know I flood the market with Trackhawk videos, man. So now its purpose is up. I got it to bring traffic in. It's brought traffic in. It's brought the views in. You know what I mean? And y'all loved it. I loved it. And don't get me wrong, it was fun while I had it, you know what I'm saying, or while I still have it until it's being sold. You know, but man, it's a legendary whip, you know, but it's just wasn't something that I would have got if I didn't have YouTube. I told y'all that from the beginning, from the time I bought it. The track would have never been obtainable without y'all. You know what I mean? That's 100% true and facts. And y'all know I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm gonna keep it all the way funky and raw with y'all, man. But, you know, it's not really something, like I told you, it's not something I would have bought if I wasn't a YouTuber. I would have never bought that. I would have got my Hellcat and been cool with that and lived out the rest of my days and then inspired to get the Lamborghini Aventador. But the track would have been something that, like, if I seen in traffic, I'd be like, Phew. Big respect to him, hats off to him, because he that's a legendary whip. But I would have never in my life bought it uh, because it wasn't my dream car. You know what I mean? But I respect the shit out of it. I've had fun with it. And now that I've owned it, it's a legendary ass whip, 100% true. So long story short, the Trackhawk is being sold, man. So if you a subscriber and you want to buy it, or even if you ain't a subscriber, but you watch all my videos and you want to buy it, hit me up on Corey Barrett 35 at yahoo.com. And only serious inquiries, please. CoreyBear35 at Yahoo.com. Hit me up on there, man, and I'll respond back to you. And if you want the Trackhawk, we can get it to you, man. You know, just hit me up, and then uh, we can take care of that. But 3M, as you can see, is about to pull up in this Hellcat Charger, man. I'm taking my Hellkeezy today to go get this joint fixed, put it in the shop and all that good stuff. I can't stand to have it out here like this. You ready, 3? Yep. Dropping this off. Look at that Hellcat Charger. Y'all see that thing? Can you see it? Legendary whip now, Hellcat Charger, man. But yeah, man, dropping this thing to go get uh, fixed up, man, because y'all know, for those who've been out the loop, you know, I got the fender bender with my Hell Keezy, you know what I mean? And it's got a little crack in the bumper and the grill's a little bit messed up, so I got to go get this joint fixed so those insurance people can come out, check it out, and all that good stuff, man. But yeah, like I told y'all, man, the Trackhawk is being sold. Nothing more else to really talk about with y'all about that, you know? But if you want to buy it, like I said, hit me up, CoreyBear35 at Yahoo.com. Yeah, man. So I know how y'all feel, man. The Trackhawk about to be going. Hold on. Let's see what wind up. This joint is nuts, man. Even though I got the crack in the bumper, man, this joint is so nuts. I love this car, man. But I know a lot of y'all like, whoa, man, why, why? You know what I'm saying? And you had the trolls out there, you know, oh, he's broke, he can't afford it. Hey, man, hey, listen, you better go check my social blade, champ. You know what I mean? Definitely can afford it. But uh, it's just like I told y'all, man, it's time to keep refreshing the channel. The Hell Keezy will never leave the channel. But, you know, it's time to always keep refreshing the channel, keep buying new shit, having fun with it, selling it. You know what I mean? Y'all know how this YouTube shit go with car people, man. Let's not play no games and beat around the fucking bush, man. This is how shit get done. This is how people get more views to tune in their channel. You know what I'm saying? You keep them to your channel, but the people, you got to have the stuff that draws them into your channel, make it more legendary, man. And y'all know what I'm aiming for. Throughout this whole channel, you're going to see there's two things that really don't leave as far as my whips. And it's going to be the Hell Keezy. And once I get the Lamborghini Aventador, that will never leave. You know what I mean? I might refresh it and keep getting the newest Lamborghini Aventador, but that will never leave. You know what I'm saying? Those two whips are the only two whips that are, are uh, not expendable. You know what I mean? 
every other whip is fully 100% expendable. All right, man, as you can see, I had to go back to the crib, change whips, now I'm in the hell hog, baby. Let's finish out this video. Oh yeah, one other thing, man, before I forget, I want to tell y'all, man, a ceramic pro, for those who've been out the loop and might be wanting to buy my cheap hell hog and don't know that much about it, a ceramic pro, the interior, so you ain't got to spend money on that, a ceramic pro, the exterior, the brake calipers, the rims, literally everything on the inside of the car, the roof, the carpet, the carpet fiber, the leathers, everything's been ceramic pro and protected on the inside, everything been ceramic pro and protected on the entire outside. So that right there saves you thousands of dollars right there alone, so you got to know that. And it's with the top 9H gold, whatever the hell it is, ceramic pro interior stuff, and you got to know, like I told y'all, man, before, on top of the MOOC, man, on the podcast, go subscribe ASAP, man, um, that whoever buys my Jeep Hellhawk, man, I'll, I'll be able to come out to where you at, kick it with you, all that, get you some free merch, man, and straight kick it, you know what I mean? You go way out your way to support me and what I'm doing, I'm gonna go way out my way to support you because I appreciate you supporting me, man. Like I was telling y'all, man, every last one of my whips are 100% expendable other than my Hell Keezy and my Lamborghini Aventador once I obtain it. Now, there's one other whip that I'm going to get that won't be expendable once I get it as well. And it may be, it may not be. I'm not sure if I want to keep the newest or the oldest one. It don't matter. Um, but here we go. Let's see it take off. Alright, but that's the uh, pickup truck. I want a big, beefy, probably get pickup truck. Those who are real G Squad members and really been supporting the movement from the very beginning, y'all know there's three whips that is my dream car garage. You know, or that's that backwards. My dream garage consists of three whips that are non expendable, but I'll probably keep refreshing and get new ones. My Dodge Chandra Hellcat, that will always be the same. I'll always keep the Hellkeezy just because of what it represents for me. You know, it seemed at the time before I got my Hellcat that that was like a, such a hard task at, at times it felt impossible to get. But now I got it. So that would never go nowhere, man. Just because of the significant, like, value it obtains to me. Like, the sen sentimental, I mean. I shouldn't say significant because it has no significance. It's the sentimental value that, that matters a lot to me. You know what I mean? Um, but I want a big, beefy, brotherly pickup truck, you know, the, with the big tires, the lift kit, you know, something that look crazy like a Tonka truck, you know what I mean? And then uh, uh, I might want to, like, keep getting new ones of that. Who wants an old-ass truck? But, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But the other thing was getting a Lamborghini Aventador. The Lamborghini Aventador is, like, my ultimate dream car. So, you know, I'm definitely going to always want the newest of the new one. I don't want to have an old-ass Lamborghini Aventador when it's, like, the new ones are out. I want to stay in the newest ones. But that's my dream garage. Lamborghini Aventador big beefy Bradley Heat pickup truck and uh, my Dodge Challenger Hellcat that I already have. So I got one of those three. Um, the Hellhawk was something uh, that I used to be able to take steps to be able to obtain the big beefy Bradley Heat pickup truck to be able to obtain the Lamborghini Aventador because Lamborghini Aventador is the one. I don't know how long that's going to take me. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, that's the ultimate car goal for me is a Lamborghini. That's what I drew when I was a kid. That's what I seen in the movies. The Lamborghini Aventador, just a Lamborghini in general is my ultimate dream car, man. So that's something I got to have. I don't care how long it take me. I'm going to get that. You know what I'm saying? The Dodge Challenger Hellcat was like the ultimate, but that was a little bit more closer to be able to obtain. This was something that I used to be able to, like I told y'all already earlier in the video, this was something that I used to be able to gain more subscribers, to be able to get more views, obviously to increase the revenue, to be able to get the things that I want in life. You know, sometimes you got to do what you have to do to do what you want to do, you know, and this was one of the things that I had to do this in order to pull in more people. This was the ultimate joint, the SUV right now, fastest SUV in the world. I got this because of that, and I knew people were tuning in the videos and all the good stuff, and that ultimately would bring me more subscribers, more views, and I put out every video imaginable that you could already do with the Jeep Trackhawk. I've done that in my Jeep Hellhawk, man, so that was the goal. So is it safe to say that my Jeep Trackhawk, my Jeep Hellhawk, did its purpose, did it do, did its duties? 100% it did. I mean, since I got this uh, Jeep track car, I probably gained over 30,000 subscribers. So you got to know, is that by chance? It could be coincidence, who knows? But either way it goes, I know by the time I got this, I gained over 30,000 people that subscribed to the channel. You know what I mean? And for those people who tuned in only to see the Jeep track car, my apologies, man, but I had to do what I had to do, man. And let's be real, man. Like I told y'all earlier in the video, man, let's, let's not fake the funk, man. Let's not pretend like all these YouTubers who do this car shit don't do it for that reason. I'm just the first motherfucker to tell y'all I did it for that reason, man. So that's what I did, man. Don't get me wrong. Having a Dodge Challenger Hellcat and a Jeep Trackhawk 
that is like I know to a lot of people that's their dream girl like Garage they like whoa and it is legendary it's big time legendary it's been legendary since I've been having both of them don't get me wrong it's something crazy it's super dope you know what I mean and it's big time blessings don't get me wrong but it just wasn't my dream garage it's legendary but I'd be lying to say like you know what I mean when they first was talking about coming out with the Jeep track hog, like I'm like yo that's my dream SUV because it wasn't you know what I mean it is legendary it does go fast hell it's big time and all that but it's more bigger for my YouTube channel as y'all can see for everything and all the reasons I just now told y'all. So we'll see like what I get after I sell my cheap uh, Hellhawk, you know, but ain't no telling how this going to go, you know, how, how quick it's going to sell, how quick, it, you know, whatever the newest, dopest, flyest car come out, whatever it is that I have to do to be able to pull in more people. Like I said, this is a business, man. This is a LLC for business, you know what I'm saying? So you got to know whatever I have to do, I'm going to do to get to where I want to go, man. And that's just simple, man. If you ain't doing that in your business, then you're doing something wrong, man. But I'm not sure which car may come out between now and the time that I get my Lamborghini Aventador that may be help me get more subscribers, that help me, may help me get more views to be able to ultimately get to my goal of getting my dream garage, my dream home, and my dream life, my American dream. I'm not sure what car will come out between now and then that would help me get there. But if there's a car that comes out between now and all my goals that I've set out for myself that I think can help me get there, you damn right, I'm gonna do it all over again. You know what I mean? But this is, like I said, this is what happens in this realm with YouTube. I've been a consumer of YouTube and car videos and all this stuff long before I was Tall Guy Car Reviews that y'all know of right now today. So it's safe to say that I got a lot more content coming y'all way. Don't think just because I'm getting rid of the Chief Hellhawk, man, that the content dries out and it's gone or whatever I still got a whole lot of more content coming y'all way man like I told you if you want the Jeep Hellhawk uh, email me at CoreyBear35 at Yahoo.com hit me up on Instagram talkoutcarviews.com my email is also on my Instagram because like I told you this is a business so my Instagram is a business page now so you got to know that you know um, a lot of legendary things coming your way a lot of mods coming for the uh, Dodge Chandra Hellcat my Hellkeezy you know you know, motorcycles about to be coming out soon I got a whole bunch of different things coming your way real soon man so everybody stay tuned for all the legendary content I got coming your way man but without further ado man this video is over it's done I'll let y'all next one, man. I'm out here. Have a blessed day, man.